Hi guys, this is Eam Tariq from Ladisco.com. From this video tutorial, I'm going to start new video series on Kotlin programming language. And in this video, I'm going to give you introduction to Kotlin language. We will talk about uh, some features of Kotlin language. And at the end of this video, we will also talk about how you guys can get most out of these tutorial series and uh, what convention we are going to follow here. So let's get started. Kotlin language is statically typed language, which means that the type of every expression is known at compile time. And the compiler will validate methods and fields that you will try to access using object. So let's explain what the statically typed language means. The bottom line is in statically typed languages, compiler knows about your methods, fields of your object and uh, if you try to access some field that does not exist on your object then it will generate error unlike any dynamically typed languages like groovy or uh, jruby or php and kotlin language is improvement of java meaning that it inherits all good features of java and adds its own unique features and remove some bad features of java language like null pointer exceptions etc now some of you guys might be thinking well we already have scala language which is another advanced jvm language then why we need this language you guys are right scala language provide almost all features that a modern language should provide but Scala language has big disadvantage which is compile time of Scala language is very very slow. So designers of uh, Kotlin language wanted language which will have robustness of Java, good features of Java and some advanced features of modern programming languages and it will also remove some bad features of Java language. So the compile time of uh, Kotlin language is same as Java language. So again Kotlin language is winner here. We will talk more about features of Kotlin language in next slide. Now let's talk about some history of Kotlin language. Kotlin name comes from Kotlin Iceland just like Java. Java name comes from Iceland called Java in Indonesia. The first stable release of Kotlin language was released in 2016. And as of recording this video, the current stable release of Kotlin language is 1.1.2 which was released in April 2017. And in May 2017, Google officially announced uh, Kotlin as official language for Android operating system. From now on, you can build your Android application in Kotlin language and its official language for Android. So now that you know some history of Kotlin language and uh, some, some features of Kotlin language and uh, the importance of Kotlin language, let's uh, learn about some more features of Kotlin language. Whenever you try to learn some new programming language, you should always ask this question. Why this language? What this programming language solves which others languages cannot solve? Is it worth learning language? or not. So we are going to apply this same formula on Kotlin language and at the end of this video you will be able to answer these questions whether you guys should learn this Kotlin language, how important this is and why creator of Kotlin language creates this language. So let's dive into some features of Kotlin language. First we already talk about this statically typed. Just like Java, Kotlin language is also statically typed. Kotlin language has another features which Java does not have. In Kotlin language, there is no need to define data type of variable. Kotlin language is smart enough to determine the data type of your variable from expression that you are using. But in Java language, you need to define the data type of your variable. So again, there is plus point here. Kotlin language runs everywhere. Because Kotlin language runs on JVM, it runs everywhere where Java runs. It's also run on some platform where Java cannot run. Yes, you heard me right. Let me give you an example. You can compile your Kotlin code into JavaScript code. It's completely compilable in JavaScript code. And 
After compiling your Kotlin code into JavaScript code and you can run this JavaScript code in your browser. That's not what you can do with Java. You can also write uh, desktop applications with JavaFX. You can write uh, web applications with Kotlin language. You can work with uh, Spring MVC. You can work with uh, many other frameworks using Kotlin language. You can also use Kotlin to write uh, your Android applications. Kotlin language removes boilerplate code that we use to write in Java language. So for example, if you want to just write hello world on your screen, in Java first you have to define class, then you have to define main function in that class and then finally you are going to print hello world on your screen. In Kotlin language, it's very very simple. You just have to write main function and print your hello world string. We will talk more about this feature in upcoming videos when we will learn about uh, data classes. Then you will know the real difference between Java and Kotlin language in terms of conciseness. Kotlin language is null safe language. If you are Java developer, you already know null pointer exception. Kotlin language provides very unique and very easy feature to avoid these uh, null pointer exceptions and it will make your life a lot easier to debug your application when you are getting these uh, null pointer exceptions. Another cool feature of Kotlin language is extension functions. With the help of extension functions, we can extend any class with new features even if we don't have access to its source code. And again we will talk about this uh, later in upcoming videos. Another cool feature of Kotlin language is interoperability feature with Java language, meaning that you can convert your Java code into Kotlin language and you can use existing Java classes in your Kotlin project and you can also use existing Java libraries in Kotlin project and you can also write Java and Kotlin code in same project. So we will talk about this uh, feature in upcoming videos when we will learn how to convert our code, how to uh, work with Kotlin and Java together. So that was the whole introduction about this Kotlin language. I designed these tutorial series for both beginners and for Java developers. It would be great if you guys have some basic general knowledge of uh, programming language to get most out of these tutorials. And the content of these video tutorials will be based on presentations like this one and uh, some practical work. In some cases, I will just uh, throw these slides away and I will dive into the IDE and uh, we will explore some practical use of uh, Kotlin language. And in the end of each tutorial, I will give you small task and uh, this small task will be for you know beginner developers if you guys are experienced java developers and working with java and any other programming language then those tasks will not be for you and i will also provide you the solution of that task uh, in the description of each video and from upcoming videos uh, i will be installing some softwares on both linux and windows operating system and if you guys already know that how to install those uh, softwares on your operating system then you guys can completely skip that tutorial and move to next one so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching i will catch you in the next one